How often does this happen? You're driving around your property and you find a branch has fallen on a fence. I'm going to show you one tool that I always keep in my glove box that gets me out of trouble. So the tool we're going to need fits into the glove box and you've all probably seen them before. It's a simple set of fencing pliers. There's a link in the description. If you want a pair like this, click on the link and get yourself one. They'll get you out of trouble every single time. The other thing we're going to need is a simple little coil of wire. Now this is not high tensile wire. Don't use high tensile wire for quick repairs. You want a wire that can bend in two directions without snapping. So I've just got a set of mild two and a half mil fencing wire. So the first thing we can do is use this part of the fencing pliers to pull out our old staple. Now we're going to hang on to that staple because remember we don't have any equipment with us. So we're going to keep that for later. Now I've got my top wire and you'll see it's pretty loose. I want to tighten that up temporarily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the wire here using the cutting part of the pliers and I'm going to end up with two pieces of wire. I'm going to make a loop in each end of the wire. So I'm going to take about a foot of the barbed wire and I'm going to curve a loop into it like this and then I'm just simply going to twist the wire around nice and wide twists to begin with and then I'm going to finish them off with some tight twists at the end. Now we're going to coil one end of our wire through this loop here, making another loop. Now let's bring our wire up to our other loop, pulling it as tight as we can. That gives us an indication of how much wire we need. We're going to give ourselves quite a bit of spare. That piece of wire can now go back under the car seat for future repairs. And we're just going to bring that up through the loop, like so. This time we're going to use that part of the fencing pliers. I slide it down over the straight piece of wire. We'll just tuck that straight piece of wire out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to twist my fencing pliers around towards the piece of barbed wire that I'm trying to strain up. So I'm going to twist them around in this direction. Now you'll notice as I'm twisting them around, I'm winding the wire around the pliers. Now it gets quite tough. You can actually put a stick through the handle and help you twist, but you'll notice that we've already got a lot of tension on the wire. That's enough for a temporary repair. Remember, this is only temporary. Once I've got enough tension onto the wire, what I can then do is unwind the pliers in the opposite direction. So as I unwind the pliers, you will notice that the wire stays strained and bent around this loop. I untie the wire, take that loop off, and then just before I take my pliers out, I'm just gonna make sure to hold this with my thumb to keep the wire from unbending. Once that's completed, I can then twist this piece of wire and I've completed my temporary fencing strain. When you only have one tool available to you, this is the method to use. Now, remember our staple that we pulled out earlier? Well, we can use the pliers to put that in as well. This is not a good hammer. It's not a good hammer at all. But if that's all you've got in your car and you just want one tool to make emergency repairs, you'll make do. And then let's put it back into a crack in the post just to make it easier to hammer in with our dodgy hammer. And there we go. We've got our now straightened and tightened wire back up on the post. We don't have another staple. So we've now got a problem with this wire that's also come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what the old timers did. Just wind a bit of wire around this way. Round the post. And this time I'm going to use this part of the, of the pliers 
as a temporary twitcher and I'm going to wrap the wire around the post several times and then once again cut it using the pliers and as you'll see this fence is now reasonably tight it'll keep our stock in while we get the rest of it fixed if you enjoyed that tip and you'd like to find out plenty more about fencing and general farming please click the subscribe button down below won't cost you anything and you'll get about a new video every week coming your way have a great day guys and I hope that helped